Michael. I'm a solution architect with Tricentis, and today we're going to be talking about our solution called Flood by Tricentis. So if we take you on a little bit of a journey, about a year ago we acquired a company called Flood.io, and we started to slowly incorporate them into our Tricentis Tosca platform. Um, so what we'll do today is talk about performance in general, talk about some of the traditional load testing tools and some of the issues that can come along with that, and then talk about Flood and our uh, capabilities within the Flood platform. So if we talk about performance and who cares about performance, as we can see here, everyone cares. And especially in today's day and age, if you have an externally facing application, customers are using that, re that really represents your brand. And as we can see here on the left hand side and the right hand side, we have two different user experiences. And I bet if I were to ask for a raise of hands of, of who would prefer the right hand side, the majority of the room would prefer the quicker experience and the easier uh, use of experience. But above and beyond just measuring per for performance and user uh, accessibility, we need to start to think about other aspects of performance and how that really can affect our user experience. One of those being availability. So if your application is not available for end users, everybody knows. And again, in today's day and age, people are not so friendly. They'll take to things like Twitter and the App Store to let you know that your performance is not up to par, and that can really tarnish things like brand reputation. We also take a look at things like reliability. Not only are you not getting 500 level errors, but also are you receiving the appropriate information back from the requests and responses that are being sent through? And lastly, scalability. So this definitely plays into uh, more so of the infrastructure that you have set into place. Do you have enough infrastructure to handle the amount of users that are hitting your system? And do you have enough infrastructure above and beyond that, up to about 25% above and beyond that to handle any unexpected flux in, in users? Um, so why does that matter? Essentially what I'd like to do is uh, start to talk about what we see in the market today. So as we can see here, performance affects all different types of applications, and there are a couple of different ways that we're really seeing that being prevalent uh, today. So on the first part, we have brand protection. We talked a little bit about that in terms of availability. If your application is not up, people can again go to Twitter, take to social media, and let everybody know that you have, they're having a, a poor user experience. So we can see 35% of users will have a negative perception of a brand if your application is slow. So again, performance is crucial. In the center here, we have revenue creation. So time is money, especially in terms of internal applications if SAP goes down, for example, and this also kind of ties into the employee effic efficiency as well. If that main system is down, that's really going to affect the amount of work that people are going to be able to get done, if any at all. So you need to make sure that your applications are up and running both internally and externally to make sure that you can make uh, the most money. So revenue creation, we can see 37% of consumers will shop elsewhere if a website is uh, failing to load in three seconds or less. So that's not a ton of time, that's not a flexible amount of time, so we need to make sure that we're hitting that to retain as many customers as possible. And then on the last part here we see employee efficiency, so again if we use that same sort of SAP uh, explanation here, 88% of executives and employees are impacted by poor performance of applications, so ultimately reducing the amount of time that they can spend doing meaningful work. So as we segue into performance testing and some of the tools that are available today, what we see in traditional performance testing tools is that oftentimes the test cases that people are creating uh, can be very difficult to write. It takes a very specific uh, skill set to be able to create those test cases, and especially if you stop by our Tricentis booth, you'll see how we've sort of remediated that with our Tricentis Tosca platform and how we can alleviate some of those needs. Um, but that really is uh, kind of a barrier to entry for performance testers. In the center, we have ex uh, expensive to run, so on top of that we have the infrastructure cost. Depending on the amount of concurrent load that you'd like to run, uh, this can really start to add up over time, especially if you want to run a 1 million user test. Good luck doing that on premise, it's going to be extremely expensive. And then as we move to the right, we have too much maintenance. So as your infrastructure starts to change, uh, this can make your test cases break a little bit more fragile. So we need to come up with some sort of a solution to make this easier for users. And that's exactly what we've done with our Flood.io platform. 
So Flood.io is a load testing solution that we have offered today, and essentially it's a cloud-based load generating solution. So everything is conducted in the cloud, and it is essentially a platform. So this is not a scripting tool. What we do is we interact with other test case creation tools, such as Selenium, JMeter, Gatling, and our own Tricentis Tosca. Tricentis Tosca involves no coding and no scripting, so that's a little bit different in terms of our offering here. Um, in the center, as far as infrastructure goes, again, nothing is going to be on-premise. Everything will be in the cloud, whether you choose to do it publicly through what we offer on our, on our uh, portal or private cloud. So you can set up your own account through Amazon or Azure, link to us, and allow us to execute on your behalf. And then to the right, we also support interaction through either the API or the UI layer which essentially leads to our two different browser, or our two different user types, I'm sorry. We have browser level users and protocol level users. So depending on the type of situation that you're in and the application that you're uh, uh, starting to test out, we can see that we have some uh, differences in what is going to be best for that particular need. So as we can see on the left-hand side, we have browser level. That's gonna be better suited for more advanced flows where we have lower amount of load needed as we're just going through the different application flows. This is going to be a little bit more resource intensive than an API level user, um, which is going to be our protocol level user that we have here. So we can see simpler flows, higher level of load that you're gonna to wanna to drive at that system and more stable and established features for that. Uh, really the last thing I want to call out on this slide is down at the bottom for reuse. Something that's crucial for the browser level user is being able to reuse some of the functional test work that's been done, whether that's in Selenium or Tricentis Tosca. We can take those test cases, transition them into performance test cases, and be testing for the exact same user flows. On the protocol level, we don't see that happening so much, but we're actually starting to branch out within Tricentis Tosca, being able to take your Tosca API test cases and transition those into uh, flood test cases as well. So what does that look like from a protocol level standpoint? This is essentially how a user would interact with flood. On the left hand side, we can see JMeter. So locally, they would create their JMeter test case, go into the flood IO platform, upload that test case, and then determine how many uh, amount of users they would like, what concurrency, how would they like to load those users onto the system, and then ultimately choosing the geographic locations they'd like to distribute to for both Amazon uh, Web Services and Microsoft Azure, or using, using your own uh, private cloud there. Ultimately, that's going to spin up some containers that are going to allow us to execute those JMeter test cases. We'll uh, execute the test case, capture all of the user and transaction information, and populate that into our portal. Um, so that is essentially the process for protocol level, but if we're talking about browser level, it's slightly different. So we'll go through that as well. If we take a look at something like visiting Amazon.com, um, if you're thinking about how many requests that would take, well, it's going to be over 300 different requests just to go to Amazon.com. So in terms of different situations where browser level might be of better use, this could definitely be one of them, depending on the amount of requests that you would have to take into consideration while, while creating that particular test case. So what is the difference between protocol level and browser level as it relates to flood? Um, essentially what we have here is a Tricentis Tosca test case. Within Tricentis Tosca, you would create your test case without using any coding or scripting, ultimately drag that over into what we call an execution list, and that execution list is uh, directly linked to flood. So you'll kick that off. When you kick that off, you actually have already input all of the information within the Tricentis side about how many concurrent users, how you'd like to load, if you want to space any time in between each, in, each individual transaction, as well as the different geographic regions. But really the main difference here is that the containers are much larger because we are running a full browser and we are also running our Tosca T-Box engine, which allows us to execute that automation. So that's really the key differentiator there, um, but essentially we're still doing the request and response like any other uh, solution and ultimately pulling that information from the containers themselves back into flood for you to view. Um, so on that note, this is just going to play a little quick demo for you utilizing Tosca uh, to create a load test. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry here, but essentially what we're doing is we're creating a specific execution list. We're able to enter in the amount of simulated users, uh, filter for different regions, add in the multiple regions, and so on and so forth. So essentially in closing, I just wanted to make sure that I impressed upon you the importance of performance um, and not only performance, availability, reliability, and scalability as it relates to your applications. So we only had 10 minutes. I just wanted to make sure that we were able to get through this. If you'd like to see a live demonstration, please stop by our booth. We'll be happy to give that to you.